Hello everyone, this is Jeannie, also known as Scrapbooking Mammal. Today I want to share a couple of things that I've done. Uh, first of all, I want to show you this piece right here. It's called, uh, it's from the Blue Fern Collection. And uh, in that collection it's the Frolic Chipboard Die Cuts. And this one in particular is called Tea Medley. Uh, I don't know if I want to show you the back, but here it is. It, it, it kind of looks like this before I did it, except of course I got all these little pieces on it. But anyway, it's a chipboard piece. And what I did, I just colored it and I used glass beads on it, Liquitex glass beads on it um, that I got from Scrapbooking with Me Boutique. And this actual chipboard piece I also got from the boutique. Um, I got the flat back pearls from the boutique also and the rhinestones. And these were in my stash here. And these, this leaf here, these two leaves, I thought would look good on there. So I went ahead and, and covered it up. Even though it had the leaves on the back, I thought it looked pretty. Give it more of a, a vintage look to it. And those came from Cindy's. Uh, she's in the sister group for the Scrapbooking with Me Boutique. And uh, her name is Cindy Rosak. So, and the uh, sister group is called Lighthouse Stop and Shop. And so anyway, uh, go there and shop with her. She's got a lot of beautiful laces and appliques that you can get from her. Um, I also use glass glitter that I got from Renee Bouquets. And uh, she sells some awesome stuff. And usually I put uh, a butterfly or something that she makes on a piece. But uh, this one here had a little tiny butterfly on it. You probably can't see it very well. But it's a little bitty tiny butterfly. But what I like about this piece is that, you know, it's got all the glitter. And I love the glitters. And I love bling. So, anyway, um, that's the piece that I did for that. It's just something I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with it yet. But I'll probably use it for a mixed media or something. But, anyway, you know, you can still find these in uh, this chipboard die cut at the uh, Scrapbooking With Me Boutique. And then the next item I want to show you is my index card December daily. I got this tutorial from Paper Crafter 45. She did an awesome job on hers and it was simple. I've always wanted to do a December daily, but most of the ones I saw just seemed like they had a lot of work into it and I wanted something that would be quicker and easier and for me anyway. And when I saw it, I thought, you know, that was it. I'm going to try it. And I had a lot of fun making this. So if you haven't subscribed to her channel, be sure to go to pa Paper Crafter 45 and check it out. She's got a lot of good tutorials. Um, anyway, I'm getting ready to do one that she's, uh, it's called a box card tutorial. I'm getting ready to do that one too. First of all, the paper that I have put on the, this book, before I go any further, uh, this is the back. But before I go any further, I want to let you know this paper I got from Scrapbooking With Me Boutique. And it's the Silver Bell Collection from Kaiser Craft. And it had the different colors in it, which I love these colors. Uh, I, you know, just cut out what size I needed. And uh, I used a tag, cut it out. It had a, a piece around it, but I wanted it to fit my page. So I cut it out around this area here. And uh, the glass beads are also from the boutique. And uh, these are the uh, fan, fan Bear, I believe, <clears throat> glass beads. And the ribbon was in my stash, but this lace here, usually every lace that I, I put on an item is going to be from Cindy's Lighthouse Stop and Shop. So uh, anyway, that's where I got this lace. And also the lace in the back. I got it from her shop. And the ribbon was in my stash. And, of course, the glass beads and the glitter glass and the butterflies. All these came from Brene Bouquet's awesome stuff. These are handmade butterflies. She doesn't do a, uh, a clip art or anything like that or download. These are handmade, hand-designed and made. And uh, she does her glitter glass. And I just love her stuff. 
So be sure to check out her shop. It's ReneeBocase.com. So here's the cover. And instead of opening from the right to the left, it opens from the right, from the left to the right. Got it backwards there for a second. So you just open it like this. And here's the inside here, inside cover. Again, here's the lace. This is from the uh, same collection of paper. You open it up like this. So here's my index card pocket with my index cards. Um, yeah, mine are blank on both sides, which is what I wanted. Oh, sorry, that's a tag <laughs> from the collection. Anyway, mine, there's 24 here. I can add more to it if I, for some reason, if I need to. If I want to put extra pictures in, but I was going to use like a tag like these two here. I was going to add these two tags from the collection and put a photo on the back. So that's what I was going to do with these two. So I have my index cards and what you do is take your index card each day, start like for December 1st, write down whatever, you know, happened that day that you want to keep a memento of. Even if it's going shopping for Christmas or something, you know, put you, put down your memo. She'll explain it on her uh, tutorial. Uh, so anyway, you know, just do whatever you want on that. And what I was going to do on the other side is decorate the other side with some other paper or embellishments or something for Christmas. But you take your card once it's done. Open up this piece here and there's a strip of tape, score pal tape. You take it off, and then you adhere it to that piece right here, and down it goes. So you're going to have, by the time you're done, you're going to have six here on this page. And then you open it up. This one's December 1st through 6th. Open it up, and it's December 7th through 12th. You do the same thing over here and over here, which is 13th through the 18th. You open this up, and it's December 19th through the 24th. And then on this page, you can put the December 25th, you know, the, the day of Christmas right here. And a person could add another picture here or embellishments, whatever you want to do. I love how it opened up, opens up. Um, I wasn't sure at first when I started it. I was going to use this for my front page, and I didn't realize until it was too late that this was going to be the inside cover, and that this is the inside page. So that kind of threw me off a little bit, and so if you're going to do it, make sure you remember this is going to be the outside page, that the cover, and it opens from this direction. So I'm not really sure how that works, why it's that way, but... Um, you know, I mean, I, I like, I love it. I mean, she does some good tutorials. So just be aware that when you do it, this is going to be your inside like this, and this is going to be your outside cover. Okay. So it's going to be opening this way. So a, I guess a person could change it and put this as the first and through the sixth, open it up and put these dates, the seventh on down. You could do it. You really, it's very versatile. And I had even asked her if I could use three by five cards because these are four by sixes. And she said it can be easily adapted to whatever you want. So, um, I went ahead and, uh, got four by six cards because I wanted to fit on there really good. And I guess a person could also turn it this way if they want to do it this way. Turn everything around. Let me check it out and see if they, this would work. I just like to let people know that's how they're going to do it. A person can make it turn everything around. This could be the outside this way. And, of course, all these would be up here, and this would be down here. And you could do one through six there and open it up here. Then open it up here. Everything would be reversed, remember. You could do it this way. The next section next section next section so i may try that sometime and just reverse it just to see if you want to do it that way you don't have to but i like it this way 
So I'm very, very pleased with it. So I want to especially thank Paper Crafter 45 for putting out this tutorial because it's just, it's, you know, it's just fun to do. You don't have to be elaborate with it at all. In fact, I think she used uh, gift bags that she decorated with instead of regular paper. But you don't have to be elaborate with any embellishments or anything. This actually uh, took me a couple days to do because I had interruptions and everything. So I didn't, if I had one straight day of doing it, then I probably would have got it done that night and then just decorated it the next day. So it's very easy, very versatile. You can change it however you want to. You can make it smaller if you wanted to, just to put in the three by five cards if you wanted. But most pictures are going to be four by six. So uh, that's that's why I think this is a perfect size for that. And it's just a simple December daily. So I'm excited because this will be this is my first one and I'll be able to do a December daily this year. I'm excited about it. So be sure to check her channel out and subscribe to her. And uh, also uh, go to Scrapbooking with Me Boutique and uh, on their Facebook page and check out the albums and subscribe to their channel and Renee Bouquet's. Go to her her shop online, Renee'sBouquet.com. Uh, you'll find beautiful items, handmade items there, and uh, and subscribe to her YouTube channel also. So thanks and have a great day. Thanks for watching. God bless.